what's up? <laughs> I'm at work again. Um, obviously, I spend most of my time. Anyway, um, so I saw this on the way to work, but I obviously have stuff to do. So um, I thought I'd come and speak on it now that I have finished. Uh, this is an article in The Sun newspaper and apologies for the lighting obviously i'm at work so they don't make it for youtube <laughs> um but yeah so connor from love island has spoken out about well, not really spoken out um he has apparently apologized to sophie um for his racist um comments to his ex and it's not his words really it's saying that it's a source so it says now the reality star has admitted he messed up in a heartfelt chat with sophie who has accepted his apology a source close to the pair exclusively revealed how could they have sources close to the pair of them when they've only known each other for like two minutes like how does how do they do they like have like mutual friends already like or did they have that before anyway 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 a source close to the pair revealed to the sun online he explained himself this is in quotes he explained himself and was gen genuinely sorry as it was said in anger over his relationship breakdown if he's honest he was bitter at the time and it was in the heat of the moment sophie believes him and won't punish him for his past. I don't think there's anything else of any significance there. Spending a lot of time together, just met his friends, blah de blah blah. So if we want to recap, Connor had said to his ex-girlfriend that she was basically a slut and a slag for sleeping with rank black black men basically like he was utterly disgusted that she would want to sleep with black men and so yeah so my two cents is <clears throat> or two pence given that i'm in england <laughs> um is that you don't just like racism don't just jump out your mouth if that makes sense like it isn't something that if you don't already have you're just gonna randomly pull on like that that wouldn't be in your arsenal unless you already had those kind of thoughts feelings tendencies you know i'm not a homophobe right so being homophobic isn't something that i pull for when i'm feeling angry do you know what i mean like it doesn't just jump out is what i'm saying and so you have to have already had these things in your arsenal to pull on. You don't just, in a heated moment, become a racist. Like, that's just not how it works. Like, you, it doesn't just, like, people who are not racist do not say racist things. So, this whole thing of, like, he messed up and he was just angry and bitter that those kind of feelings don't really make you temporarily racist there's no such thing as a temporary racist like you can't <laughs> you can't be temporarily racist you can keep your racism under wraps but you don't just become temporarily temporarily racist in the blink of an eye because someone pissed you off or you're getting dumped or someone slept with someone else and then it goes like it doesn't it's always there that's why you're able to pull on it because it's there <laughs> the fact that he hasn't actually come out and said anything again this is um this is actually a source that has come out and said this stuff we don't even know if this is what has been said he hasn't come out and said anything about it um, I think at some point they mentioned about him travelling to Australia and having two relationships, that one was good, one was bad, and they both matured him and, yeah, travelling to Australia matured him and stuff like that. But I don't see what that has to do with 
anything. Um, he hasn't personally come out and said that he himself has grown, blah, 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 blah. Um, and before people start saying like, oh, well, he's with Sophie and she's black. First of all, I'm not entirely sure she's black. I think she might be mixed race. But if she wants to identify as black, whatever. But if people want to say that, like, he can't be racist because he went with um, Sophie, there were loads of uh, enslavers that had black children or mixed race children. There were loads of enslavers that actually had relationships or relations with black mulatto whatever non-white women during slavery and were still able to kill and maim and uphold the institution of slavery so i mean yeah you can be with someone who is not white but still not like um, like you can be with someone who is black or who is mixed race or is a person of color but not like the culture i feel like part of him is getting back at his ex um by going with a black girl um or a mixed race girl i feel like part of him is kind of like doing that as like well you did it now look what i'm doing kind of thing and i feel like you know and um, there's a whole load of like issues with self-love and self-esteem within the white community at the moment where um, some of them are trying to change the color of their skin to be darker they're trying to like um, take uh, melanin injections and tablets and all these kind of things to try and change the color of their skin which is really really sad they're trying to get fillers in their lips and it looks so painful um, and some of them are like literally destroying their faces in order to have more black features and so i think for him that is also a dig because it's kind of like hmm well i'm going with the room mccoy so how do you feel about that when you're there on your tanning bed like i feel like that's kind of like a draw to sophie as well but yeah you can't um draw for racist language if it was never there to begin with do you know what i mean like it just isn't something that's gonna jump out of your mouth when you get angry like that it just isn't that let me know what you guys think remember to like comment and subscribe and yeah we will see you guys later when we do our love island review and turn on the notification bell down below okay guys peace out deuces